Hello, everybody. Welcome to Silver Heist. Thanks for swinging by. Let me know in the chat if this is loud enough. Actually, I didn't test my microphone. I just want to make sure we're good. If uh, I think I've got my computer muted so that we're not doing that. So, yep. So, welcome to Silver Heist Jr. Can you hear me? How is the sound? Hello, Jonathan. Jonathan Reese. Hello, Michael M. And Eli, thanks for stopping in, everybody. So I just want to make sure loud and clear, good, great. All right, cool. So we are here live. This is, of course, Silver Heist. And good day, Ozzy. What time is it where you are, brother? And saving dollars sounds good. Okay, excellent. So, Silver Soup, Vineyard Coin Searcher, hello there. So what I thought we would do is that the price of metals has gone down a lot. I don't have any charts lined up uh, on my uh, browser, but silver is at 1663. Give or take, depends who your source is. Gold is 1585. So gold went rocketing past 1600 and almost went up to 1680. And it was crazy. And, but then it came right back down. So what I'm trying to figure out is um, who's buying the dip and if you're buying the dip, what are you buying? I'm sort of curious where the deals are and stuff. So I'm kind of curious who's buying. Australia has been hijacked. Can you please, please put in the interest of the people Y2 YouTube page on your laptop? I'm not sure what that is, but um, Ozzy, I've got an email in my about page. If you want to send me an email about stuff. My email is silverheist1964 at gmail. If you want to send me something, um, that'd be great. I'm not sure I know what you mean. So, Silver Ripples, welcome. Dan Katz, howdy. And um, so, Eli. So, Eli's off and running. Eli bought some American Silver Eagles. And, and saving dollars. Will it go lower? For the silver spot and then okay so Lee, Eli bought them at SD bullion American silver eagles okay so that's cool and Dan Katz just bought a bunch of commemorative dollars at below melt so hey Dan Keller welcome so what I tried to do earlier before we started I might be able to aim my camera at the thing but I looked at what I kind of thought would be these are the things that interest me I'm thinking I'm not 100% committed. I don't know what I want to do yet, but either American Silver Eagles or a 10 ounce bar or some constitutional silver or gold. So I'm not really ready to make a move on gold. So if people know, and so I, I went around to Atmax and Jam Bullion and Monument and SD Bullion, and I have the prices. I can show the website or I can just take my notes and tell you what I saw. And just curious if people think there's a better price out there for the type of stuff that you're doing. So, yeah, so thanks, Dan. Hit the like button. Hit the thumbs up, people. And so Fiat Destroyer, he's hitting Constitutionals and American Silver Eagles this weekend. So that's great. So I, I got a bunch of prices. I can kind of talk to that or fill things in. But once I put a price on the table, if someone says, oh, God, you know, if you're buying under 20 American Silver Eagles, you, you ought to do better than $20. So I'm just, I'm just kind of curious if people can kind of help each other out. And Richard Simpson's looking for pre-33 gold. So yeah, so this is, this is exciting. I mean, it's exciting to see... All right, thanks, Ozzy. I'll check out the email. So it's exciting to see the validation when gold is going up. In silver, I mean, gold has been going up, and silver has just been struggling to also go up. But 
What I heard is that silver really needed to prove itself at 1850. Like it needed to end the week at 1850. And Gold, I think, needed to be tested at 1600 and then 1650. So gold just got ahead of itself and went blasting past 1650 and, and just went way more than it should have. And gold and silver, I don't know, I think it kissed 1850 and then it came back down. So it hasn't proven itself. There's no 20s and 22s for silver until it can prove itself at 1850. So it's not there. So if it's at 16, that's exciting if you think it's going to be right back in the 18 soon. And then I think gold at 1585 is kind of exciting if you think it's heading to 1600 and 1800 and 2000. But if you think there's deals to be had at 1450, well then who knows, maybe you're still on the sidelines with this. Um, so the thing about me for gold is it takes, hey, silver britches. So I'm not sure if silver britches is in on this, but the, um, just your, not just your average silver stacker, uh, another overtaxed taxpayer. He is a sizable channel and he has a thing. He's a really, I think, mostly about silver, but he wanted to, prove to himself that he could save methodically and buy gold. And so I have some gold. And so I've been able to make some gold purchases occasionally. Um, but I like the idea of the savings. And so this price drop is kind of biting into my savings plan because whatever I spend on silver this weekend, like I'm not ready for gold. So whatever I spend on silver this weekend is, is money that's not going to be going into here. So, so far, what I've got is, um, I think there's a video coming out tomorrow. So I came up with a way of getting $25 and another $25. And then frankly, about three weeks ago, we called up our internet provider and said we really didn't want... Uh, local phone service anymore so our bill is going from like a hundred dollars to 70 but for some reason this next month they reset the cycle so it's 70 dollars less so that's all going in so I've got I've got 120 in my gold fund so I'm kind of I want to kind of just keep focused on that so I'm not sure I'm gonna pull the trigger on anything this weekend even though the price is awesome because that just keeps me from putting something in here. So let's catch up with the chat. So silver britches, the gold to silver ratio says to buy silver. So he bought silver. Well, always listen to the gold to silver ratio and your conscience. <laughs> so, so that is good, silver britches. That's kind of what I'm thinking too. I mean, I want more gold, but this just seems like a good opportunity. And, and then, yeah, so Richard Simpson, you got to do, if I did some dancing, maybe I can get some tips or something. So Eli was torn between American Silver Eagles and a 10-ounce bar. He bought the ASCs at this price. He knows the 10 ounces will still be at a good price after this dip is over. And so, hey, welcome, Eric. Are we taking bets if spot will continue its downward trend in the early parts of next week? Well, we can take bets if you'd like. Uh, what do people in the chat think about bets? And do I have my prediction? We can also, we can also consult with Magic 8-Ball, see what he thinks about uh, the dip, if the dip is over or... See, this is actually, so here's another great point, I think, about this weekend, and this is why I wanted to get together tonight, is that things move really fast. I mean, gold went from 1580 to 1600, and then up to 1680. I mean, it's moving fast, a lot faster than I think stackers can keep up with, but the weekend is a perfect opportunity 
the prices are frozen and you can get your money organized and go on these bullion sites and buy what you want. So it's like a it's like a resting period where the price is stable for 48 hours. So I mean, I think that's a that this is like our advantage. So I think um welcome Midwest Coin Hunter. Thanks for stopping in. So I think the weekend is a great chance for people who are working during the week, which is what we're doing, who have just stable prices for 48 hours so we can do stuff. Um, so, yeah, so it's a good opportunity. And the other coincidence is this is February 29th. So not only do we have the weekend, we have like a whole extra day to the calendar year. So this is totally, this is totally like a free day to get your stuff together. So, you know, so Fiat had a first, a new first today, please tell. And the American Reserve rounds at JM carries. Okay, well, we can check that out. I think I've seen some American Reserve bars. So in terms of bars, this is... Maybe my favorite, the RCM bar. I don't have many. I have one of these and I have a Britannia. And I think I really like this the best. And it's a lot of times it's like sold out or hard to find. So they're available. So I, if I was going to buy something, I mean, if I just think small, I'll, I'll just pick up a roll of dimes. A little bigger or kind of big would be the bar. And maybe in between would be just enough ASEs to get $100 free shipping. But I really want to feed this envelope. So that's, that's my dilemma, is I want to feed that. So let's see if Fiat did... Uh, he appraised a coin collection and then donated to a charity. Okay, so that's nice. So that's cool. You get to look at a lot of nice coins. And so let's see, Richard Simpson. Yeah, we touched on that. Experts say stocks are going to keep going down, so silver might also keep going down. And then the dip is probably from the extra day. Yeah, who knows what happens on the extra day. And Magic 8-Ball can see through the clutter. So, yes. Answers you seek? Yes. You shall know. I don't know how to speak like Yoda. So, yep. RCM bars, silver britches, down with those. And Eric is considering a purchase of 52 ASCs. Okay, that does seem random, 52. That adds up to 1,002. Okay, so $1,000 to avoid taxes. Okay, wondering if that's the time to pounce. It could be the time to pounce. If you want me to consult Magic 8-Ball, Eric, I will ask it if it's the time to pounce. Now, Magic 8-Ball nor Silver Heist, we're not financial advisors or financial planners. Okay, great. Ozzy Alchemist, he's fired up later, everyone. Let me ask a quick thing if they're going to make uh, precious metals illegal in Australia. And here we go. Ozzy, it's not a good answer. Yes, definitely. So bury your silver and gold, brother. There's, some, there's stuff amok in your country. Okay, so Eric, let's find out if this is the time for you to pounce on a big $1,000 purchase. Okay, so should Eric... Eric... <laughs> so, <laughs> oh, no, okay. So we'll just hide that. I saw that. We all saw that, Ozzy. Okay. I know. So sorry, brother. So uh, Magic 8-Ball doesn't always... You can take your destiny into your hands, too. So uh, yeah, there you go. All right. So should Eric pounce and make a big purchase to avoid taxes? Reply hazy. Try again. All right, we'll touch base on that, Eric, shortly. Okay, Ozzy, take care. Peace out. So, um, yep, so he thinks we reply later. I'll ask it one more time. 
Should Eric make his big purchase this weekend? Concentrate and ask again. Wow, that's crazy. It's not committing tonight. So we'll see. Let's get back to Eric's question in a little bit. If anyone else has a question, it has to be in, in a yes or no. So welcome, Vertical Stacker. We're just trying to figure out what people should commit to this weekend. And it, as an added resource, we have a non-financial advisor in the form of Magic 8-Ball. So, um, and if anyone knows where's some good deals. So I'll tell you what I think I found. This is just ballparks. I, I don't think I'm gonna jump around the websites live. I think I'd rather just chat with you folks. But uh, I mean, ASCs I saw anywhere from 20 to 2050. So 20, 2050 down to 20-ish. So that's in the 20 range. If you're buying one to 19, the RCM bars are about anywhere from 183. So these don't actually line up with Atmex. So ignore, these aren't really indicative of whose prices. I'm just mixing these up. A roll of dimes is going for anywhere from 62 to 60. Now yeah, they're all pretty close, 63. And then a 10th ounce American Gold Eagle was anywhere from hmm, 173 to 176 and a half ounce is anywhere from 830 to 850. So let's so that they don't apply to these people. So I don't want you to get confused. Um, so this is what I saw. American Silver Eagles are about 20 bucks if you're buying 1 to 19 of them. A bar, a nice RCM bar is 183 to 186. Isn't available in all the places. Dimes are 62 to $63. And a 10 cent gold is ballpark 173, 176. And uh, a half ounce is about 830 to 850. So when you look at, uh, when you look at gold... When you look at gold, it's a tenth is 173. So that's still 25 bucks above the premium. Uh, a half ounce is a good $38 above the premium, up to $60 above the premium. So whoever had that price, they're not giving up the premium. So they're really not giving you a discount on the lower spot price. So, but if those prices are, if someone says $20 for ASC, you should go to some special website, you know, let us know in the chat, but that's kind of what I'm seeing. And so if you know something better, let us know. So let's see. Okay, so Fiat found them for 19 or, and Maples for 18. So was that on a, a bullion dealer or L LCS? And High Steve picked up some Engelhard Prospectors, less than 20 bucks at Monument. That's cool. And Silver Bridges found ASCs on a Facebook group. Okay, so um, 380. So that's 19 and change. That's cool. And let's see. So Facebook, yeah, so um, delete Facebook unless you want $385 a tube ASCs. And then Eli also wants to let us know SD Bullion has random ASCs for 1963 for 1 to 19. That's good. Wow. I must have missed that. Okay, yeah, so for some reason I just picked 2020 instead of random, but for the... American Gold Eagle prices I quoted, those are for random dates rather than uh, 2020s or specific years. Um, so, yeah, so I think we're doing, I think we're doing good. I think, 
we've got to just figure out what we want for what you want to spend your money on and when, and then perhaps pounce. So let's get back to Eric. Hopefully Eric is still here. Eric had a big question. He was thinking of a thousand dollar purchase because it would avoid taxes. So should Eric pounce? And it is certain. All right, Eric, I hope you're still here because now it is certain that you should pounce. So, excellent. So Dan Katz, SD Bullion has one ounce random silver coins for 1868 if you're using PayPal. Okay. And then maybe it will go down more on Monday. So I haven't read a lot of news. I'm trying to think. I'm kind of confused if I saw it um, Friday. But basically, I think it was Friday, uh, Zero Hedge website was talking that Potentially, the whatever you want to call it, the Federal Reserve was was even considering, or people were speculating that they were considering like a rate cut announcement Sunday, before the markets open Monday. So, it's like, so that would be big. So if that happened, it could go both ways. The crazy thing about all of this rate cut business is that the more they try the more desperate they're just puffing up the system. So it, it's like a double-edged sword. If they give Wall Street the rate cut, it could put a halt and Wall Street could kind of get some legs and go up. But if they keep giving everyone what they want and rate cuts, then at the same time, at some point, people just lose faith in the stocks and say, this is crazy, I got to get out. And then at the same time, they, they get into the gold. So the more, they, the more they try and force the stock market up, eventually all of this effort just uh, is counterproductive. And then stocks, and then the gold could take off. So if they come out with a rate cut in the next seven days, yeah, gold could keep going down. But at some point, they keep playing these games. Gold is just going to ignore it and do its own thing. And then the stocks, people are going to say, well, you know what? It's these Thanks for the rate cut, but I think I'm getting out of stocks. So, so Find Bullion Prices is a website that searches major bullion deals and finds the best prices. So I've never done that. I'll probably do that after the stream just for my own benefit, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to jump on the website. Uh, I can't really adjust this camera. And I'll, I'll show my living room and stuff. So Silver Rippers found a gold dealer locally. So that's good. So $15 over melt, any size AGE. Yeah, because look, look at the premiums I'm finding. Um, we've got uh, one-tenth is at least a $25 premium and a half ounce is a good $38 premium. So just for each coin. So $15 over melt, that sounds like a good deal. And if you are confident or he'll test it on a machine in front of you or just whatever, then, then that is a great deal. And it's a store a gold dealer store rather than a Craigslist purchase at Dunkin' Donuts. So, hello, Henry. Welcome to the stream. So we're just sort of comparing notes. Hey, Blended Whiskey, good to see you. Thanks for stopping in. We're all just kind of comparing notes, see if what people are doing, if they're pouncing on this drop in prices or if they're just continuing to do what they had planned on doing and it's a nice nice thing but you don't want to shift gears unless you really were committed so um so good to see you Jonathan hold on a second I need a drink so 
So actually, I don't have any photos I can show you, but I actually was stacking hard all day today. And um, I know everyone else has been stacking hard, and but my stacking hard was actually firewood. <laughs> so we got a cord of wood and a cord of wood. I ran out of wood, so I had to buy some wood. So it's eight feet by four feet by four feet. So I stacked about two thirds of it. So it's in a nice stack. I've got a nice stack of hardwood. It's seasoned. And it's, uh, so I spent the afternoon stacking that. And it's up on a pallet, uh, staying dry. So, yeah. So I had to buy it because we ran out. So, um, which is, I'll show you a video. <laughs> Whoops, that's the wrong thing. So this is, right, I don't know, where am I? That's not what I want. This one here. If you want to hear my story about I didn't stack enough, it's this one, my failure. So my failure, I did not stack enough in 2019, what now? It's actually a story about how I didn't stack enough firewood. And so that was a few weeks ago. That was a month ago. I knew I was going to run out. And I ran out before I found a dealer. <laughs> I found a guy who would deliver to me. So, yeah. So now my failure has, at least we haven't run out, but I had to pay money out of pocket to get some more fuel. So now I'm stacking my own wood for next winter ahead of time. So I'm trying to get ahead of the game. So let's check in. All right, Silverhouse Jr., take care. Internet's dying out, and um, good to see you, so take care. And blended whiskey is gold is way high for me right now. He's buying 0.23 ounces a month. My goal is three ounces this year. Okay, so what's the, what's the 0.23 ounce um, coin, is that like the size of a sovereign or something? Um, so that's cool. And blended, I believe, blended has a lot of nice gold as it is. So adding some new ones methodically is great. Um, yep. Yeah. So Vertical Stacker agrees, go at your own pace. A little here and a little there is better than none. And Vertical has a question. Okay, great. Vertical has a question. Ask them, 8-Ball, whether there will be any gold in the Yankee box when it gets to you. That's my question. Because Vertical, I had an inkling. So, so let's explain the setup in case people don't know. So the Yankee box is something Yankee Stacking started. He started with a box. He seeded it with a bunch of silver and copper items. And then he selected, I don't know, 15 or 20 people in Canada and the United States. And Vertical Stacker was the fifth or sixth stop. And so it's coming around and it's going to come to Silver Heist, like the 23rd stop. And then it's going to go to Yankee. And I think I might meet Yankee in person and deliver the Yankee box. So what you do is when you get the Yankee box is that you take out a silver coin and put in a silver coin of equal value or take out a copper and then put in another copper of equal value or take out a couple of silver coins and put them back in. So what Vertical Stacker did is he emptied it of all the silver and he did a monetary reset. All the silver and copper came out and he reseeded it with some different size gold. So he put in way more than he took out. And so, hey, Talking Bullion, good to see you. So he took out, he, he put in way more than he took out and he sent it to Silver Dragons and Silver Dragons took, I don't know, a quarter ounce. So I think he took the quarter ounce gold out and he fed it back with 20 plus um, silver ounces. So now we're down to like three other sizes, a tenth and a twentieth and a gram. 
So it's going through, so a Tomoko's Enterprise put these 25 uh, cool silver poured tigers in and it barely lasted three visits because one person said, oh, these are cute tigers. Let me take one for each of my five children. And then the next guy's like, oh, these are awesome tigers. Let me take four for each of my three children. And so then the vertical stacker did the monetary reset. So all the tigers are gone. And I just have a feeling, well, the silver bridge is still here. Silver Bridges, if you see any vertical stacking gold, are you going to hoist that out of the um, Yankee box or are you going to leave it so that maybe Silver Heist can, can heist that? So, so, yeah, so it's fun. It's going, the Yankee box is going to talk in bullion. I think it's going to, I'm not sure. Who, who else is, say, Put an OK in the chat if you're part of the Yankee box. Uh, or if you can't do that, then just write Yankee. So who's part of the Yankee box? Uh, drop it in. So Fiat, I thought you were. And Silver Bridges is part of the Yankee box. And uh, we know Vertical Stacker is part of it. Eric is part of the Yankee box. So that's awesome. So yeah, it's just great fun. I'm looking forward to it. I have a fun idea when I get it. And so stay tuned for that. I, I'm not going to tip my hand, but I think I'm going to have something fun. So there's a lot of places left for it to go. And Patriotic Goomba, welcome. So good to see everyone here. So yeah, so we've got some Yankee Box people right here. So all these folks have some good coins that they can add to it and good fun. So Add nice things. <laughs> Don't, you know, well, we'll see. So uh, add nice things. Don't go through like your pile and take out something nice and put in something that was a gift that you don't like. So this shouldn't be like a white elephant where you just fill it with the gifts that you don't like and then pass it to the next guy. So... Yeah, so definitely at the more expensive things, the better. So that I have lots of nice things I can look at and heist them before I hand deliver what's left to Yankee. Yes, it's not a junk box. I mean, Vertical Stacker put beautiful things in. And, well, I'm, well I'll just say the thing I want because there's no way I'm going to get it. But Vertical Stacker, I forget what size it is. It could be a tenth of an, it could be a tenth of an ounce. He has a really cool coin that's from Australia that I think has a, a view of Australia from like Australia's point of view. And it's a square coin. I don't know if it's a 10th of an ounce or a 20th. That would be, I would totally heist that. Whatever it took, I would heist that. I would fill it with American silver eagles, whatever. So that's one I, that's the one I want, but it's got to pass through like 20 people before I get a look at it or at least 18. I, I can't imagine that the square thing's going to make its way to old Silver Heist here. So we'll see. But it'll be fun because, I mean, I think just like the tigers disappeared, but the gold came in. So something cool will get taken by the next handful of people, but then something even different that's also cool will get added and then something else nice, it's going to go through Talking Bullion's hands and some other good people's hands. So there'll be cool things by the time it gets here. And it's getting bigger because you have to, people are generous. They, they keep filling it with more than they take out. So it's only getting bigger. And it, it was a fun, it's a fun thing. So I'm curious if I can get who gets square gold coin. That would be neat. Yeah, so silver bean counter. Uh, so I think it went to Grog, and it might be on its way to Silver Turtle in California. Then it has to go to Hawaii, and then maybe silver bean counters after that. So he's going to get some stuff. So yeah, so shipping's going to be hard. I'm actually more concerned about <laughs> insurance because it would be awful if it got lost at the end 
and there's a big hole in the Yankee box and a trail of silver and gold leads to the postman's home. That would be bad. So, all right, so Fiat Destoria, hit that thumbs up on your way out. Enjoy your extra day. Put it to good use. So that's, that's the thing. So, um, you know, you can try, Eli, and post a link. I don't know if links go through unless you're a, whatchamacallit, I'll, I'll do this for you. Where are you? I'm going to just make you a moderator just for the fun of it. All right, so I trust you, Eli. So you're now a moderator. Just type something. I think as a moderator, you can put links in. So don't please put a link to a credible bullion dealer because uh, we, we will just see a bunch of blue things. I don't want it jumping to some uh, crazy place. So hit, type something, Eli. I think I made you a moderator. I think you'll be able to type a link. So I'm going to get a drink. So yeah, so Eli, hit us up with the link if you like. Are we still live or did we lose it? Okay, here we go. We're live. Good. All right, so does, um, and I wish, um, I can't remember. I mean, people like, my bullion dealers are kind of maybe very vanilla, but I kind of have Atmex and JM Bullion and SD Bullion and Monument Metals, and I think I've hooked up my electronic checks with them. Um, all right, so Eli, yeah. So if you've got a website for a dealer and uh, drop in a link to a website to a bullion dealer. So welcome, Coin Sense and Nonsense, and welcome, Weeby Gold and Silver. And uh, that's great. So tell, do tell, Coin Sense and Nonsense, what was your nice score? It's a nice deal. So that's not a coin roll hunt. You must have got a good deal. So Florida Stacker gets, he gets, I forget the name of his place. Maybe it's something Texas. They have like free shipping and he can just buy one coin. So he can just buy like one coin for each paycheck. And then occasionally, I mean, he buys gold and bigger things of silver, but just have a place where you can just buy one sounds like something I want to remember, but I, I don't remember what it was. So Texas Precious Metals. I think that's the one. So I, I, you know, maybe I'll just go to Texas Precious Metals and make a token purchase. I, they won't have my check-in account thing, so I might just have to use my credit card. But yeah, Texas Precious Metals. I think you can buy one coin and uh, free shipping. So his connection is slow, no worries. So eight vintage, so coin sense and nonsense bought eight vintage one ounce bars and rounds. Okay, so are you, are we, you don't need to spill the beans, but are you doing a video on it? Are they like Engelhart bars and rounds? That would be kind of cool. So, um, no minimum purchase. So um, I'll just say, since I have the floor, <laughs> since this is my live stream. So I posted a video Friday night, and I apologize. The sound was not good. So I did a video where I contrasted the 2019 uh, American and the Beautiful Silver and the 2020 American and the Beautiful Silver. And I did an unboxing. And I had problems editing it, and I thought I fixed it, and then I posted it, and I was a little puzzled that people weren't watching as long as they normally do. And then I forwarded it to my wife, and the video 
um, the sound cut out like about a third of the way and then it came back and then it cut out. So I had to fix it at one o'clock today. So the version that's up there now works. So if you were disappointed where the sound cut out, uh, the sound is better. I had to make a new version. So iMovie did something weird to me. So, oh, okay. You know what, the Watergate bug, I've seen that before. I don't know where. So CoinSense and Nonsense bought a bug and it's got a giant flea and a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder. What's a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder? No, I think I know. So high fidelity. So okay, so is it Texas Precious Metals that Eli's trying to hook us up with? Um and we be gold and silver, bought a privateer collection, two ounce rounds for spot price from my coin shop, along with a bunch of two ounce silver rounds for spot the other day, made about 700 from the deal. Why? Wow. And spectacular, welcome. Hello, my dark friend. It's good to see you again. Spectacular. I had to take a drink. That was a little sound of silence, but I'm back. Hi, Spectacular. Oh, and that's Mrs. Silver High saying hi to Spectacular. Hi. Okay. <laughs> so that's enough flirting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I have my Mickey Mouse coin. Yeah, no, it's great. So, yeah, we did the Yankee Swap Christmas thing here, and my wife was excited to get a Mickey Mouse uh, Fantasia which came via uh, Spectacular. So, yeah, so Spectacular. There's a bat coin in here. So check out my video if you want to see a bat, a silver bat from the Samoan Islands, a big giant fruit bat and her baby. So, oh, that's fine. Um, all right, so this is what we're talking about. So I don't know who Nationwide Coin is, but they've got a good spot deal on a one-tenth American Gold Eagle. Um, so my, my last... Um, yeah, so I think maybe, maybe... <laughs> I don't remember the, all, the, all the drama, but maybe you stole the Fantasia Coin from Coin Sense and Nonsense... <laughs> No, I think she stole it from talking Mrs. No, not talking Talk bullion. Talking. From Lady bullion. Lady bullion. I think Lady Bullion had her hands on it, and then my wife stole it from Lady Bullion. But everyone ended up with something nice. Um, so nationwide coin, and the first national reserve. Okay, so that's a coin or a bar, and so yeah. Yeah, Lady Bullion stole it from Coin Sense and Nonsense. So, um, yeah, so I think the, th so we should check out Texas Precious Metals if you're looking to just save some money but not buy like a massive tube. So you could probably get a good price at Texas Precious Metals for just a couple instead of, committing to a hundred bucks or four hundred dollars worth or a thousand to save taxes and anyone if you want to ask at magic eight ball a question you can ask magic eight ball a yes no question so okay yeah so spectacular the the two ounce salivate metal round uh is my property i it's Salivation Nation. I figured it's kind of a fun thing. I sent it to Silver Limey. And frankly, Coin Sense and Nonsense took it to Hawaii. And it's gone to the uh, Florida Everglades with Guido. And the Stacking Nerd took it to a nerd convention. And so it's mine. And then it went to a whole bunch of other cool places. And then Silver Chimp was going to 
gaw, give it away, but it was a joke, and he gave away a twin, and he kept uh, the, so, the, uh, the official salivate metal round. He sent it to Lady Bullion. It went to Rick G, Profit Coins, and maybe it went from Rick G to Spectacular. So, yeah. Okay. So spectacular, so the cat out of the bag. Spectacular has the salivate metal round right now. And he's slow on the video. He filmed a bunch of stuff and ended up messing up the film. Haven't had time to do a redo. So yeah, no worries. Um, yeah, keep trying. I mean, Silver Chimp kept it. Some people turn it around in like a week, but Silver Chimp actually kept it for like over a month. But then you hit a home run with the whole fake giveaway. So um, we're kind of, I'm not too worried about it. Um, I think someone else is, would like it. I don't have his physical address yet because I don't even know his email, but he agreed to do it. We sent a comment back and forth. So yeah, spectacular. Let's just keep it. Um, oh yeah, so Talking Bullion was the one who had it. Yeah, it went to Silver Steeler and Talking Bullion. So yeah, it moved really fast from Rick G to Silver Steeler to Talking Bullion. They were going fast. So, you know, some go super fast, some go slower. So on average, everything is cool. So I'm not like overly crazy. Okay. I'm not a control freak. Um, yeah, do what you can and it will be funny. <laughs> so like, well, I don't write spectacular material, but... Here would be a funny idea. You just put the salivate metal round and you just let all those tarantulas run around and just film that. That would be silly. So whatever you want to do, bud, because you are a funny person. You have, you have uh, a good point of view. So hello, Armando from the vault. Stopped in for a bit. Thanks for stopping in. And hey, Alex Miles, premiums have gotten higher even though the prices have dropped. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking because one of the places, one of the places, I mean, and I forgot where I got this price. A half ounce of gold is $7.92, but someone was selling it for $8.53. So that's a higher premium than normal. So I think, and especially with this weekend, I'm not sure people have locked in their prices for our benefit for 48 hours. I, I would think, yeah, you know, the dealers have kind of set the prices. Yeah, so Armando is definitely around. So, yeah, so Silver Bridges, um, that would be fun. So let's, uh, it could go, we can make a deal. We can send the salivate metal to Silver Bridges uh, after Spectacular. And then there's another place or, or to the next guy and then to Silver Bridges. So I'm kind of thinking about bringing Sal home to Silver Heist. And, uh, but we're going to keep it going for a little longer. So... Yes, so I haven't changed my awesome sticker. Um, yep, so hey, here it is, brother. Another overtaxed taxpayer. I have my gold envelope. I'm going to put this in a video, but I, I'm kind of highlighting it in my live stream. So I'll show people who weren't here earlier. So... Another overtaxed taxpayer had an idea to just methodically save for gold. Sometimes it's easy to just run out and buy a silver eagle every week, but it takes a little bit more planning to get gold. And so he thought, why not add cash to it every week? So I came into some money. I'll explain it in a video in the next 48 hours. 25, I came in with another 25 and then I can share this story so we our cable internet local phone service we 
we dropped one of the services and we're going to save like 30 a month. But the first month, for some reason, we're saving 70 bucks. So that's going in there. So I've got 120 bucks in the gold fund. So this is kind of why anything I do this weekend with the spot prices are, are just going to eat into my gold fund. So I kind of want to just grow that. I'm kind of more interested in growing that than locking in a little bit of a bargain with the spot prices. So I'm, I may not be able to buy stuff in the next 48 hours. So, so yeah, so thanks for the great idea. Another overtax taxpayer, that was a great idea. I think there are people who are doing it and I'll go visit your channel to see your content, but I'll visit your channel to, to post updates in the comment section that, you know, Next week or two, I get paid every couple of weeks, and so I'll be able to add some more to this, and, and then, then we'll pounce. So, um, so we'll see. So thank you for stopping in, another overtaxed taxpayer, and thanks for um, the great gold idea. I know Spectacular, I think, I saw him drop in a comment at the video that he was going to do a gold envelope for himself. And so there's some people doing it. And hello, Mr. Stacking Stormtrooper. Who's tired? Spectacular tired or Stormtrooper's tired? So, all right, so Spectacular is, he's all napped up. So we're going to midnight, people. Let's just keep, we're going to, now my wife is like, huh? <laughs> I'm teasing. <laughs> so, yep. <laughs> so, Stormtrooper's tired. Yes, definitely. Stormtrooper. Oh, my God. Stacking Stormtrooper spent 1200 bucks in the last couple of days. Well, that's awesome. Congratulations. Uh, that I won't be able to do that. And... Uh, if I had money to burn, he'd burn it. So, hey, Silver Banky, welcome. But, yeah, so I think Stacking Storm Trooper had a video today about this opportunity. It's not an opportunity. You have to pounce on with $1,200. You can pounce on it to your degree. And, oh, and spectacular... He pounced and spent thirteen hundred dollars in the last seventy-two ounces. Seventy-two. Um, oh, what happened to Eli? Where did your moderator ship go? Did you? Maybe you left. You're back to being a. Uh, oh no, you're Eli Redshirt. Is Eli Redshirt the same as Eli? Because I just made you a moderator. <laughs> okay, I hope you're the same person. Ah. Uh, so, yeah, so six per household, and uh, so there you go. So, yeah, so, I mean, you can pounce, pounce if you can pounce, and if you don't pounce, so be it. You know, there'll be silver and gold, you know, in the future, too. And, uh, but, yeah, so, we, we, you know, We'll be able to say to Stacking Stormtrooper, I know what you did last winter. You pounced on $1,200. So, yeah, so it's kind of funny. Um, I mean, I tell my wife when I'm about to buy something or maybe immediately after I tell her, but I, I do tell her. But it was fun when the Apollo 11 coins came out because I met... Um, I met uh, Southside Stacker in New York City, and it was the evening after the Apollo 11 coins came out, so we, we had a burger at Shake Shack, and it was fun because we were just said, oh, I bought the gold Apollo 11 and the silver Apollo 11 and the JFK Apollo 11, and, and he bought like these three other... Apollo 11s, and then we were kind of joking, like, well, did you tell your wife 
And it's like, ah, oh, she just knew I was buying some coins today. <laughs> you know, so yeah, my 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 girl, she knew I was buying some coins, but she didn't know like how many coins he was going to be. Yeah. So <laughs> so yeah, so Goomba. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm telling my yeah, I'm my wife is like uh ten feet away in the couch now, but she can hear what I'm saying, so when I joked about being here till midnight, she she definitely heard that. So I have to be careful about... So I can neither confirm or deny that I'm buying any silver tomorrow. Because <laughs> if I say something, she's she can hear. So I can't say, oh, yeah, Stormtrooper bought 1200 I'm going to buy a whole ounce buffalo tomorrow for 1600 And then my wife's going to be on the couch saying, huh? So... Yeah, so I can't, I can't do, uh, 1,200 is a pounce. What do you call it, 2,700? I don't know. Why did seven, eight, why, why, why is seven afraid of nine? No, why is, yeah, why is, seven afraid of nine. Why, why is six afraid of seven? Because oh. seven, eight, nine. So, yeah, so I think, uh, Okay, all right, so there's the link, folks. Eli, firstnationalreserve.com. It's a big, complicated link, but add www to it. So copy and paste that, folks, and check that out. And maybe it's a product ID. So there you go. So that's good, and it looks like it's actually a nationalreserve.com. So I appreciate you not sending people to some weird place that's not a bullion dealer. So... Uh, yeah, so so spectacular. Don't worry, Mrs. Heist. When when he dies, it'll be all yours, and then you can sell it for something really cool. <laughs> so yeah, she's laughing. I don't know if you can hear it, but she's laughing. So yep. Do you think it's wise to sell gold in order to buy silver right now? I'm not sure. I think things are in such flux. I think just direct future money into one side or the other. And I'm actually kicking myself because I literally was telling myself that I was going to go through my coin roll hunting uh, coins. Not the 90 percenters because I want to keep those. But the 40 percenters, I was thinking of dropping them and selling them and... You know, if I could sell a roll for 50 bucks, I was going to flip it into some gold. But like now what's a now what's a 40 percent going for for a roll? So I may just have to put that plan. Now, I haven't even counted my inventory as to how much coin roll hunting stuff I have. Uh, coin sense and nonsense actually today posted a video. He has a guardhouse box from coin roll hunting half dollars. And it's almost full. So he's been doing it for a while and he gets great results. So, yeah, so I think I'm going to sell my 40s soon. Yeah, get rid of the 40%. I'm not sure what my inventory is, but I want to get rid of it and just put redirect it somewhere else. Because all of that, I have bought some 40 percenters, maybe I'll keep those, but the ones I found for 50 cents from coin mill hunting. I don't even care what the transaction costs or if I don't get top price because I only pay 50 cents for like a $3 coin. So it's all profit. And then I can flip it into something else. Yep. So, um, so we'll see. I think the gold to silver ratio... stretches and contracts but it may not contract to what it did in the 80s uh, or other times and so right now it's kind of oscillating between you know 94 and 89 it's not moving towards 70 or 60 or anything it's just it's this is like a new normal so yeah hold the 40 percent is for a little bit longer i think so I mean, I'm not in a rush now. I might as well just sit on it now. But I think I, I might be able to 
not put the 40% money into this. Uh, the 40% might do its own gold envelope, but the other stuff I'm going to put in the gold envelope. So, yeah. Two different metals with two different purposes. The ratio is meaningless. That's what spectacular is thinking. And um, don't listen to Goomba. Sell the 40% now. What about the war nickels? <laughs> well, should I hold on to the war nickels or should I sell them? So silver's fallen too far. Sell now. Yeah, listen to the guy with the bucket. Sometimes it's hard to hear the, the guy with the bucket because his, his voice is muffled because he's wearing a bucket. So, um, so, yeah. So if anyone has any questions for, not for me, or not for Mrs. Silverheist, but for Magic 8-Ball, if you have any questions for Magic 8-Ball, he answers yes-no questions. He can give you certainty or his best guest estimate. Yeah, Stacking Stormtrooper, we know. He does a voiceover now. So he films himself, and then he has to voice over and get his hand gestures synchronized to his new voiceover. Does anyone realize that when Mad Max, not the Road Warrior, but when Mad Max came out in America, they dubbed... Australian actors with American voice actors. Little known fact. What are we talking about, Running Eagle? We're talking about spot prices and whether you're going to pounce this weekend or hang tight. So with silver at $16 and change and gold at $15.85 is now a good time to pounce or, you know... If you're on a monthly plan or every two-week plan, if it just doesn't sync up with this weekend, so be it. But if you want to do something, it might be a good deal. Okay, so question. Eight ball, should Heist dump the war nickels and the 40% beautiful JFK candidate dollars? So let's ask the war nickel question first. Should I hold on to my war nickels or sell them? So I'm going to say... Should I sell the war nickels? And it says, don't count on it. So don't sell the war nickels. So there you go. But should I sell the 40% Kennedys? Very doubtful. That's like a double negative. I, I should not sell. Don't sell the 40%ers. So there you go, Stacking Stormtrooper, Magic 8-Ball, is in complete non-agreement with, with your thing. Yeah, so this is really messy. I mean, we've got the time. We've got a little bit of time. I've got Atmex loaded up here. I'll just scoot this a little bit. So, what do you want to look at? You want to look at silver or gold? We'll look at silver. So let's just look at, where's silver? Where's silver eagles? Here we go, American eagles. Oh no, unknown error, what happened? Atmex's server is dead because of everyone. Oh no, is this a thing? Atmex, some, Atmex's server has crashed. Or is it because my Wi-Fi is off? Maybe it's because the bandwidth is screwed up because I'm live streaming. Why isn't Atmex's thing working? <coughs> That's weird. Let's go somewhere else. Let's just see if it's my thing. Silver Eagles, BU. Yeah, maybe Atmex's server's dead. Maybe they don't want to sell any coins this weekend. I'm just speculating. Don't, I'm not trying to bash them. And it could very well just be my thing, my Wi-Fi or my laptop. 
but there's something very weird going on. So here's J.M. Bullion. Um, random year, 1995. So, so yeah, 1995, that's like $3.30 over spot. That's kind of a lot, isn't it? Isn't it supposed to be more like 2 or 250 So, I mean, American Silver Eagles, shouldn't they be under 19 or at least 1950 So, it's a little high. No, I didn't say Atmex was corrupt. I think their website is crashed or there's something wrong with my browser. So, Monument Metals. Is this Monument Metals? Yeah, this is actually interesting because I actually, I think I looked in their, pay, their, their deal pages. This is kind of funny. I'm not really into this Germania stuff, but you can get an, uh, an America-Germany combo with the oak leaf for $48 for the two of them. So if you really wanted Germania stuff, you could get two. Or if you've never had it, you could get two of them for 48 bucks. Because otherwise, this thing's 29 bucks. So that looks like a good deal. Unless the oak leaf is a dog. I thought the oak leaf was kind of cool. I don't know if people liked it or not. I mean, they sell it for 23 So you save a few bucks if you bundle it together. So let's see. So there's something... There's some, someone mentioned this earlier, I think. So SD bullion, you can just get a random government bullion coin for seventeen ninety three. So you don't know what you're getting. And they could be damaged or mm, even culled, but they're government bullion. So, all right, night stacking stormtrooper, and I'm keeping the war nickels. So... So there's not really a lot of, I don't know if there's any really cool deals, you know, SD bullion. Well, $10 face, Kennedy half dollar, well, 40%. So there you go. If I sold my 40% in the $50 range, that's what I could get for him. And so considering it's $10 worth of half dollars that I coin will hunted, it's worth 50 plus. That's kind of cool. Um, so I don't really see anything. This is all kind of premium stuff that's for sale. They're not doing anything. This is kind of maybe the deal here, but it's sort of like random cull things. So, oh, I think that's the Dalai Lama. That's probably a silver shield Dalai Lama. No, is that the Dalai Lama? Oh, it's Gandhi. $19 $19 for Gandhi. Disobey. I think that's a silver shield thing. I can't see what he's holding. It's disobey. So that's a sale. If you want Gandhi, you can do it. So. Yeah. So they got some deals. Uh, let's see. I think. Let's see what these guys have for deals. <coughs> I, I don't really. I mean, here's a bunch of stuff. I mean, emus for thirty dollars. I I don't really collect this kind of stuff. I have no idea what the value is. So I'm just looking for like stuff at spot or or nice things. So actually, I don't know where you bought your gold coin from Spectacular, but J and Bullion has this thing. For 173, it's not the tiger, but it's a Ching Wong gold. I can't see it very well. So it's 173 for a tenth ounce of gold, and a tenth ounce is 158. So that's like a $25 premium, or 15, no, 15, 15 dollar premium. Uh, is that what it is? So that's I can't see a close up of that coin. So it's that Korean weird little building, and I can't see what the heck that is. It's not a tiger. I don't know what it is. Chi Wu Ching Wong. I'm not really sure. 
but it's all under protection. So no virus worries. So the um, so I'll just jump around. So what I was looking at, the thing I was kind of trying to get a handle on, I jumped around four sites. What's the 10 ounce bar going for? What can I get a roll of dimes for? What can I get a 2020 ASC for and a half ounce or a 10th ounce of gold? That's kind of what I was looking at. So. Okay, so the Gandhi is, is a Guy Fox um, deal. It's an N95 mask. I, didn't, I couldn't really see what he was doing. I kind of missed it. All right, so Dove has those six random coins from SD in the card as you speak. It seems like a good deal. Well, there you go. So I don't know if you discovered that on your own or whether you just sort of noticed it as I was jumping around some sites. So... Um, yep, let's see. Maybe International Stacker will buy your nickels. He'll buy everything. Well, he'll buy everything if it's a deal. Okay, Canadian two-ounce goose. That's a good one. I have, I've seen it. It's beautiful. I have some canoe silver dollars, silver britches, but I don't have the normal goose dollar. But now with the two-ounce goose silver, I'm very interested in that coin, especially if I could score uh, a 67 silver dollar at the same time, that would be good. Discount on any quantity pricing. Da, da, da. All right, so let's talk about that two kilo kookaburro. Oh yeah, so there's a thick coin that Spectacular put a community post on. Where do you find that kilo, dude? Um, I'm looking in the chat. So tell me more about that. Uh, two stinking kilos. Yep. Atmex has $123 for constitutional quarter. So $10 face for 123 Okay, so that's good. Because, yeah, so I was looking at dimes. Dimes are in the 62 range. So if you can get... $10 for 123 that's a good deal, I think. I think um, Melt is like 60 bucks. So Melt is like 120 face-ish. So um, Gainesville Coins has some good prices. Picked up a few generics. There you go. All right, Dan Katz, thanks for stopping in. Good night, everyone. Um... The Perth Mint. All right, let me see if I can. So there's something wrong with Atmex's website, I think. I'm going to look at that later, but let's go over to the Perth Mint. Perth Mint. Perth Mint. Um, two kilograms. Two kilograms kookaburra. Oh, here we go. There it is. Australian. Here we go. Australian kookaburra, two kilos of silver, antique finish. Whoops. Shoot. Where'd it go? Am I here still? I'm at the Perth Mint. Shoot, I had it and then I lost it. Do, do, do. Um, here we go. We're going to try and find it. I can't see. Five ounce kookaburro. One ounce kookaburro. Shoot, it was right on like their fancy opening page. Where the heck did it go? New releases? Is James Bond. Okay, Antique Kookaburra. Is that going to break me to it? 
Here we go. There it is. It's a kookaburro. And it is big. Is this thicker? This is, and it comes in this nice case, which is like plastic, and then it's like a magnet plastic. And look at this, look at that, 10, 10 ounces. There you go. So you're, you're 2,200 bucks, and you can have the kookaburra. It's pretty cool. It's a big, you got to pounce on that. All right, so he's, he gave me a link. It's, I think I'm at the same place. So we're there. So, oh yeah, spectacular. You can definitely post the link. So I fell behind in the chat. Do, do, do. So Dan Katz is out. Um, ba, ba, bum. Shipping date in three years on, on this. I don't know. Please note there's a delay in the production because they can't make a coin that thick. It will never be produced and will give you your money back like Tesla never gives you money back. So, two kilos, buy two, get one free. That's what it is. And then taxes. Yep. Yeah. So let's see, scroll down, here we go. Bullion exchanges, 38 bucks for 2022 20, ounce silver royal Canadian mounted police. Okay, so that's nice. I think I'd seen that. Um, Eli's also looking at the two ounce Canadian goose for 40 bucks and change. And yeah, this is like, a, a, yeah, that crazy fishing magnet, the, the, the people drop the magnets over the bridges and pull up stuff. So yeah, taxing money, money for nothing. So, a lot of the LCSs by me are starting to charge tax as well. So, yeah. So, I mean, I think if I go, if I buy one or two bullion coins from my local guy, I don't get taxed. But I haven't pushed it to see how high it would go where he has to charge tax, but I'm not sure. So... So there you go. So good luck with the rest of your weekend. It is the 29th, so it's an extra day. It's a nice extra day where you can use that extra day and the frozen spot price to go around websites and figure out if you want to pounce and to what degree or whether you just want to hold and buy at the next iteration. So I might just be holding and feeding my gold envelope, but we'll see. Maybe I can pull off a small purchase somewhere. So hold for the gold. That's what I think I'm going to do. There's so many things. I mean, I, if I wasn't holding for the gold, I think I'd be chasing a two ounce goose around. Um, but I think I'm going to hold for the gold. So silver breeches, um, Thanks for stopping in. If people can hit the thumbs up before you split, that would be cool. So, 2019 quarters. Okay, so, yeah, between the 2009, we got a video out there. If you want to check out the 2009 versus the 2020, uh, we've got a vote here in the chat for the 2019s. They've got some nice designs in the 2019 running Eagle Thinks. So... 25 one ounce grizzly beer for like 300 bucks. Um, cool. So thanks everyone for coming. Let me see who's still here. Uh, can I do that? Maybe. Participants. So Dove Season 91, you got some great deals. Congratulations. Uh, Eli Redshirt, another overtax taxpayer. Thanks for the great golden envelope idea. I'm going to keep feeding it and I'll let you know how it's going. Henry Von Mug, thanks for coming. Dan Keller, Richard Simpson, Batcoin. There's a bat in here. It's from the Samoan. It's a big fruit bat and her baby. And Rocky Mountain Beer, first one in the chat. 
Last one to leave. Thanks for stopping. Running Eagle, good to see you. Silver Banky, bank some silver. Take the 29th pounce. Silver Britches, good to see you. One of the coolest new voices on YouTube. Silver Heist is here. Oh my God. Silver Ripples, spectacular and talking bullion. Always great to see you. Vertical stacking. Love the gold. Love the Yankee stacking box. Can't wait to see it. Thanks for doing the monetary reset on the Yankee box. I think you did a great job. So everybody, thanks for stopping in. We'll catch you later. Have a good rest of the weekend. Appreciate everyone stopping in. And we will keep on stacking. Hey, Steve, keep on stacking. Smash that likey button, says Eli. All right, over and out.